everyone, welcome, it's Emily. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a fringed pillow cover. This is really, really easy. It's something I made last fall and I absolutely love the way it turned out. And if you're like me, I've been looking and looking for a certain pillow cover in the same color and pattern and I have not been able to find it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go out and buy my fabric that I like and I'm gonna make the cover myself. I've been doing this for years and it's super, super simple and you guys can do it. Um, I use a sewing machine, but if you don't have a sewing machine, you could probably hot glue this together I know it sounds probably really really crazy but that is an option for you guys if you do not have a sewing machine um, I made mine into an actual cover that you can unzip so you can do that or you don't have to do it it's really really versatile so go ahead and grab your fabric your sewing machine or glue gun and let's go ahead and get started so here is my fabric of choice um, I really like this plaid print it's from Hobby Lobby I'm using the same color string for it and then I have some needles and then um, you're going to want that for the zipper if you're going to put one in some scissors obviously a zipper about the same size as your pillow my pillow was a 18 inch and my zipper is a 16 inch so I left a little bit of a gap and you're going to want a measuring tape too um, in case you're doing this now this is a pillow cover that I had and so I'm using it as a template if you don't have that just measure your pillow and then measure uh, slightly bigger than your pillow and now I'm gonna leave about an inch and a half to two inches on the outside that is going to be the fringed part so keep that in mind when you're doing your pillow next go ahead and cut down your fabric mine is folded over I like doing it that way because then I know it's you know for sure it's the same size and then go ahead and cut the other side there you have your two pieces now I'm just going to start pinning them together that way everything stays nice and straight and again I'm just leaving a gap here of about an inch and a half and this is the area that I'm actually going to be putting my uh, zipper in so you don't have to make it perfect but you can see how I want it to overlap and everything so you can pin the other sides if you need to but I did not I just kept the one side pinned and again you can see the difference here and just go ahead and start uh, sewing away and again leave an inch inch and a half depending on how big you want your fringe if you want it bigger leave two or three inches it's completely up to you and we are not sewing this inside out this is going to be how it is um, on the outside because it is going to be fringed so once you get um, all three sides sewn go ahead and take your needles out and then place in your zipper if you're going to be doing this if you're not doing this and say you're using a glue gun stuff your pillow now and then you can come back and glue that afterwards so here I'm just pinning it the way I'm going to be sewing it into my sewing machine and uh, you can see I just add a few here but that way it just acts as a guideline and I'm going to fold that over go ahead and sew as normal I like to do is just pull down the zipper part uh, for the first inch or so and then I zip it back up just to make it easier to get around I left both feet on you should probably take off one foot but I did not I'm lazy in that <laughs> department of fixing things So once you have your zipper all the way um, sewed in, go ahead and start pulling out the strings of your fabric. This is the fun part. This is where you get to make your fringe. So pull away, don't panic. You can't really do too much. I honestly think the more fringe you have, the better off it looks. And go ahead and stuff your pillow in. You can always trim off any extra strings. So I know you're probably thinking, girl, you got strings hanging there. It's okay, I promise you. Go ahead and zip it up and so you can see what you're working with. I pulled out half of the strings to the uh, length of the actual fabric, so just halfway, and I really, really like the way it looked. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more, let me know. Maybe I'll share some more sewing DIYs with you. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll see you soon.